$200 of copper wire and thousands of dollars in damage. Vandals hit the nonprofit Healing House last summer, and today, a fresh start. After months of work, Aaron's house is up and running. KMBC 9's Alan Chope has more on why this special day has such a deep meaning. Home for Healing House, Aaron's House, named in honor of Aaron Langhofer, a volunteer who was killed by stray gunfire during a First Friday event in 2019. And she would be blown away by all that has been done here in her name. The home will be able to provide temporary housing for 10 mothers and children who are experiencing homelessness. I wanted this place to have the feel of Aaron. Aaron had a beautiful smile but a beautiful spirit. The home was slated to open in late fall of 2023, but was delayed due to vandalism, causing an estimated $50,000 in damage. It was broke in, our electrical was all cut out, they stole HVAC stuff. Since more than 30 community partners coming together to complete the renovation, donating over $200,000. This is a generational solution to helping people. Over 22 years, Healing House has helped more than 11,000 people who have suffered from poverty, substance abuse, and homelessness. And now they're living the life that they could never have dreamed of. Uh, we want them to see love. We want them to see hope. I think they're going to get that. She has always been ours. But now a piece of her is yours, too. In Northeast Kansas City, Alan Shield, KMBC 9 News. For more information about Healing House Homes, you can go to their website at healinghousekc.org.